Must have been fishing when these monsters came. Bad luck. Another step or I'll... Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. At least you made the effort. Suddenly, you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Confusion, resolve, and a hint of gratitude. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do. In your head. The same. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to... cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. Conjurer head. I'm going to see what's at the top of this cliff. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. Or just company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. Don't mistake blood for kinship. Lead the way. More of those wretched things. Stay back. One strike could be lethal. Don't!
survival isn't such a distant prospect. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. of yours in one piece. 
Hmm? No. I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Not? Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? It's those tentacled monsters. Whatever they did, whatever they put in us, just created a connection. They took you too. I saw it during whatever just happened. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. The strong and silent type. All right. Please tell me you at least know something about these worms. Turn us into... Ha! <laughs> <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. Safety in numbers, after all. And I hate to turn down an invitation. All right. Maybe I'll see you there. Good luck. Survivors? Quickly! They're trying to dig somebody out of the wreckage. Something so much wrong. blood. They should be trying to get away if they had any sense. Come on, dig! Faster! Get her out of there! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! You... You did this. 
You want to kill her? Suddenly, something convulses inside you. Your vision lurches sickeningly. You are one with your assailants. Your minds fuse together. They are frightened, lost. The creature in the wreckage is forcing them to attack you, controlling them like puppets. Its voice shivers across your brain, seeking access, trying to bend your will to its bidding. presence in your mind gropes for purchase and finds the tadpole instead. You push back, taking advantage of a tremor of pain that cuts through the creature. As its influence wanes, your assailants lower their weapons, blinking in confusion. Where... where are we? There was... fire in the sky and... and then... Oh, God. My friends. What happened? God. I... I think you're right. It called out from the wreckage. It sounded just like my daughter. But... She's been dead for years. That thing got into our heads, drove us mad. We wrecked our boat just trying to get close to it. What do I do now? Not a chance. It's bloody driftwood. And we're in the middle of nowhere and even... Oh, wait. You. I can feel you. Just like one of those things. You're one of them! There's something in your head. Please, I'll take my chances out here. Just, just don't hurt me anymore. We just broke a Mind Flayer's hold over its victims. How is that possible? The tadpoles? No, our minds connected. I felt it surrender. We did this. We're probably changing already. We need to deal with these tadpoles while we still can. Something the matter?
<sighs> this seems as good a place as any to make camp. So, we're resting here. Um, turning in for the night. No, I'm more than happy to put my feet up. I'm just not used to this. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. I'm in no place to rest yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through. To process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. Suit yourself. Sweet dreams. What were you two talking about? Don't play the fool, please. Fine, just don't expect my confidence if I don't have yours. And just to be clear, come daybreak, finding a healer is our first priority. Caution is a luxury we don't have. Let's rest and wake up at first light. <laughs> 